Just last week, folks had the chance to win a unique book by Paul McCartney. This was a raffle through Magic City Books, if you remember. So Pat Kowitzel is here this morning with an update. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. How are you? So I am doing pretty well. We have a generator power here. Yes. Uh, Magic City, you all still have we power. We still have power. So we you're do. open. That's right. Yes, okay. we're open today. I wanted to ask about the Paul McCartney book. Yes. Not to just jump right to this punchline <laughs> right. here, yeah, but yeah. Did, did somebody So we it? did the raffle on Friday on Facebook Live, and we had a winner here in Tulsa. Uh, a woman named Libby won the book. And so she's come down to pick it up. She was able to get in before the storm on Saturday. And so she came down and got the book. Um, it's a really, it, you know, it's a beautiful uh, deluxe edition. We have the general edition of the store. We, we actually sold through those copies on Friday after, the, after, after that. But we'll have more coming in this week. Um, and it's a really great, it, you know, this book was photography that Paul had done back in 1964 when the Beatles came to America and had done some cities and stuff. And so most of this stuff truly had never been seen before. Uh, and so it was really cool. That that, uh, that that deluxe edition stayed here in Tulsa. With and the money goes to the Literary Coalition. Yes, and so uh, it helps us to keep bringing in more authors and do more programs for Tulsa. That sounds great. Yeah. You know, I don't know, like maybe like Tom Hanks, you know, right. people like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so today's Juneteenth. Let's yes. start off with our series of books, um, a couple Juneteenth books to yeah. start off with. Yeah, yeah, so this first one is a picture book by Floyd Cooper. Floyd is a was a native Tulsan. I'll show you the uh, pictures. He did over a hundred illustrated uh, children's books throughout his career. He had a really amazing, wonderful career. Uh, this book, Juneteenth for Maisie, is a wonderful one for any of the kids in your life uh, to learn a little bit more about Juneteenth and, uh, and, and what and, and why we celebrate this wonderful day. There you um, go. Edmund Pettus Bridge, right there. That's right. And okay. then uh, we have our, our Juneteenth cookbook. And so, uh, Watermelon and Red Birds, uh, this is a kind of a celebration cookbook. There are celebration cookbooks for lots of holidays, and, and Juneteenth is no exception. And so, this is uh, a really great one to come and be able to find some, some great Juneteenth recipes. Oh, those drinks look so good. Yes. Okay, how about a book about trees? Yes, and so, uh, you know, with, with Alan, uh, having to be here all weekend and, and talking about the weather I want and, and all these trees that are down I thought that some folks might want to kind of get re-engaged with trees a little bit Peter Wolhaben uh, is is someone that many viewers may remember uh, the secret life of trees this is a, another book that he he'd written just a couple years ago called the heartbeat of trees about uh, kind of reconnecting with nature and, and that special relationship that people and nature have together specifically trees this next one oh this is fun this is speaking my language It'll it looks yes. like just like an old school movie poster, That's right? right? That's right. Yeah, The Last Action Heroes. This is, you know, uh, every once in a while, kind of these books kind of bubble up uh, pop culture things. And this one is really looking at all those action stars of the 80s and 90s. You can see them all there. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Chuck Norris, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren, and, and just kind of talking about how all these movies came to be, all of uh, all, all the, the ways in which these actors now work together on things. Um, hmm. Just kind of a fun summer book. Yeah, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. That's right. Okay, another one here. The last uh, the last one on the table here is The New Mystery by S.A. Cosby, All the Sinners Bleed. We have got uh, some some copies that that he signed, uh, Sean signed, and and, uh, and and had available for independent bookstores. Um, great summer read, you know, especially if you're, if you're a mystery thriller kind of reader. Uh, S.A. Cosby is one of the top writers out there right now, and uh, and this is a great one for, for summer reading. Um, you know, hopefully get yourself a, a cool beverage and, and read something today. Yeah, that's great. Find a shade spot. That's right. Because, you know, if your internet doesn't work, if your phone doesn't work, you can't text anybody. There's always books. That's right. That's How right. about a beach read? Okay, because I've noticed the resurgence of the beach read novel. Yes, yes. There, there is so much more uh, in this space, so many great books. One of the best writers out there in, in this space right now is Taylor Jenkins Reid. She's got a, a new book in paperback, Carrie Soto is Back. This book came out in hardcover last Year. It's kind of about uh, the 1990s uh, women's tennis circuit, and Carrie Soto is 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 a fictional uh, you know champion tennis player who's making a resurgence. And uh, I read this last summer; it was wonderful. I, I really enjoyed it, and and so. It's a great one for, for your beach vacation or to just sit by the pool and, and relax. Yeah, find you a shade spot today and get off the phones. It's an opportunity to stay safe, get off the phones, and just maybe crack open a book. That's right. Okay, so Magic City is open. They are here in downtown. We're going to put the location of ours on the screen. They are open today. They do have power. So, Pat, we'll see you next time. Sounds good. Thanks, Dave.